Captain Mitchell. Sir, we all think you did a hell of a job down in Mexico City. You followed everything on the Narcom. How you saved President Valentine and then General Martin. That battle at Chapultepec Castle. And how you led our guys into Zocalo Plaza and took out the rebels. Well, I'm just honored to drive you, sir. And I'd be honored if you'd just keep your eyes on the road, soldier. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. We've got video incoming. Patching and it through. We now have confirmation that President Valentine has touched down in Washington. Both he and President Luis Peña insist the North American Joint Security Agreement will still be signed, despite yesterday's coup attempt in Mexico City that was finally put down with the help of U.S. forces. As for the recent outbreak of rebel activity in Honduras, Colombia, and Panama, unnamed U.S. sources now confirm their connection to yesterday's coup attempt in Mexico, raising concern that violence is spreading across the rest of Central America. Reporting live from Panama is Marco Zambrota. In the last 24 hours, the rebel forces here, led by Gabriel Alvaro, have essentially shut down the Panama Canal. U.S. forces have moved into the area amidst widespread reports that the rebels are looting ships and stealing their cargo. There are also rumors that sensitive military gear have been taken, though any connection between events here and in Mexico still remains unclear. Lieutenant Rosen is expecting you at Fort Bliss, Captain. I guess after what went down in Mexico City, it'll be time for a little R&R, &R, huh? Maybe for you, son. Something tells me I'm just getting started. Damn, Captain. How the hell did you make it out of Mexico City? I know you probably want to hit the hay, but General Keating's got another situation going, one that requires the ghosts. So they've asked me to prep you for your next assignment using this battle simulator. Your performance during the simulation will be evaluated with a score given at the end of each phase, so try to treat this as a real combat situation, okay? To start, follow the instructions on your HUD. Well done. Scott, when you're on the battlefield, you must keep in mind that maintaining cover will often be the key to your survival. Therefore, you should always observe your surroundings and identify all cover positions. for advancing. Outstanding, Captain. Very good, Captain, but you're not through yet. Careful, Scott. An enemy patrol has been spotted down the street to your left. Your mission is to neutralize it. Use the various covers around you to avoid being hit.
dónde? That's the end of this exercise. Now take a look at your performance for this section. Okay, Captain, now you'll learn how to identify threats and neutralize them from a distance. For that, you'll use a rifle equipped with a scope. Go to the position indicated on your HUD to get your rifle. In urban environments, threats can come from anywhere. They could be lurking around a corner or waiting to prey upon you from a rooftop. Your scope will help you identify these threats. Good, Scott. Now take your time and stay focused. Okay, Scott. Hostiles have been spotted on the hillside due east of your 20. Reach their position and take them out. Stay frosty, Scott. Try not to be surprised by your enemies. Oh, last thing. You'll be scored on the headshots you make. Good luck. That's the end of this exercise. Have a look at your performance for this section.
Sometimes you'll be confronted by threats that you can't defeat directly. In this part of the simulation, we will look at stealth techniques for approaching a target without being shot. When there's no cover nearby, you can use smoke grenades to hide your progression. Captain, you will now have to approach and neutralize a hostile heavy armor piece. To do this, you'll have to move as close as you can and throw an explosive charge near the vehicle. Remember to use available cover and smoke grenades to avoid being hit. Okay, Scott, that's it for this exercise. Now check out your performance. Captain, I need you to join your team in the truck. Let's go, Scott. Captain, 
This is your team. The screen on the left of your HUD is the new Crosscom command interface. It will allow you to give orders to your teammates and control such vehicles as drones, helicopters, and even heavy armored vehicles. Negative. Let's move. Moving to position. Move now. Moving, Captain. Move. Move into position. In position. Move now. Moving, Captain. Let's move. Moving to position. In position. Regroup. Regrouping. We're right here, Captain. Well done, Captain. For the next part, we'll work on advanced battle tactics. Your teammates can use two rules of engagement, recon and assault. Let's try these modes in a battle situation. Attack! Aggressive, copy that. Check up ahead for hostiles. Attack! Sneak and peek, on it. Move! Moving now. Move now! Moving to position. Regroup. Regrouping. We're with you, boss. Take a look ahead. Move. Moving to Let's position. Let's move. In position. Contact. Your teammates have spotted hostiles, but note that they are in recon mode, so they do not engage the enemy. As you can see, a stealthy approach gives your men the opportunity to get in close and take the first shot, giving them a huge advantage over their enemies. Check fire! Check fire! Check your fire! Let's go! Yeah, moving! And then there were none. Sector's clear, boss. I think you're ready to use your team in a battle situation, so let's go. Okay, secure the area indicated on your tactical map. An area is considered secured only when no enemies remain in the zone. Last thing, since this exercise is for testing your command skills, do not use your own gun. Try letting your guys do the job. Contact. Two, two. West. They see us, boss! Fire! Heavy fire! Recover. Fire! Near the van. One left. That shot's mine. 